Hey, this is Daniel for Radrunner Pro. Today we're here in my studio in New York City and we're talking about color. I do a lot of work with data lights, which are tungsten fixtures, and I really love them, And but I'm in a daylight studio, so I'm always having to gel them to match the daylight. So Dado came out with this great new LED, the LED 4.1 which I picked up and it's, it's such a great little light and it's daylight balance the whole nine yards, but sometimes I need to use all my lights at once so I wanna match the color. So I'm, the way you do that, most people are somewhat familiar with color temperature. If I'm working with tungsten lights, I'm gonna set my, my white balance at 3200 Kelvin and use my tungsten lights and I'm good to go. Or you can do a, a custom white balance. But if you're using lights of different color temperatures, you have to match all your lights before you do your white balance so that everything's nice and even. So since most of my lights are tungsten, I often will gel the daylight light, but in this case, we're gonna do the opposite. So basically, for color temperature, there's two different kinds of gels you could use. There's color temperature orange, often called CTO, color temperature blue, which is CTB. I've already pre-cut mine to go into a gel holder, so I'm gonna give this to Dave. This is a full blue, and I'm gonna put it on my tungsten light source. And basically, what this is gonna do is it's gonna make my tungsten light match my LED light, which is daylight balance. Now, both my lights are the same balance, so if we were to point them here at Stacy here, the color looks nice and natural. It doesn't look like we're using two different sources. So that's some basic color matching. So um, let me show you how you can use a little bit of this in creative ways. Okay, so I've got Stacy over by the window for like a nice talking head style shot. And I have beautiful light coming in because she has nice red hair. It's, it's kind of giving her a nice halo. Now, a lot of people's first thought here would be to throw a reflector in there because it's very, very dark on her face. The reason why I wouldn't want to use a reflector in this case is because if the sun outside starts changing while I'm recording, the light on my subject's gonna change. I want consistent light on my subject. Even if it gets darker or lighter outside, at least I'll have a nice consistent light on my subject and I know that she'll always look good. So I took my uh, LED light, which is, of course, daylight balance, and I have it over here. We have a, what's called a cosmetic gel in there, cosmetic highlight. So this gel has a little bit of diffusion in it and a little bit of color to bring out the skin tone and make it really nice. So if we turn that one on, you know, we can basically, from this distance, we can pretty much balance with the light that's there. and. You know, you can see outside enough, it's not super bright and it's not super dark either. This looks pretty nice as is, but I would also like to add a little bit of a fill light just because just to fill in the shadows, especially on a lady. So I have my regular data over here, remember with the blue gel in it. So I turn this guy on, I can dial it up to fill in my shadows. Okay, so remember that I gelled this light to make it equal to my LED light, to daylight balance but my LED light now has peach on it. So this one's actually a little bit cooler and I, I like to warm up my shots a little bit, especially on people. So I'm gonna actually remove this all the way and let this light go warm. Of course, removing the gel is gonna give me more light, uh, light output. So I'm just gonna lower it. This, this light has a dimmer on it. And I'm just gonna eyeball it and bring it in so it just fills in my highlights and gives her a little bit of warmth on that side of her face. So this will be great for a talking head. She can move around a little bit. It gives a it's nice contrast because she's young. We can use a nice kind of punchy light on her. And we can see the city in the background. So you can see it's a little bit more like executive uh, kind of, you know, big city look. Okay, so we've moved to the office in the studio and it's about four o'clock in the afternoon. There's a lot of sunlight bleeding through the window, but we wanted a nighttime feel. So what I did was I set the white balance on my camera to 2,500 Kelvin. That makes all the daylight coming through the window look very blue and blue signifies night to people. That's usually the effect that people want. So right now she's a total silhouette just with the light coming through. So what we'll do is we'll light her up a little bit. First of all, I have a dado right here next to me. This was a tungsten balance. We can turn that one on. And what we did was we actually put a full CTO into this. So it's actually not, not 3200 Kelvin, but much warmer because again, my camera set at 2500. If I left it at 3200, the light would still be very cool. So that looks really nice. It, it gives it a nighttime feel. We kept it a little bit underexposed because that helps signify night to people. Um, but way over on the left side of the frame just seemed too dark to me. So I added one more light with just a little slash of light. This one I did not put any gel on. So it's gonna be a little bit bluer because remember it's 3200 Kelvin, which actually works with the window lights. It's not quite as blue as the daylight, but it's not as warm as